vortex. I have so much shit in this car. And I know that you probably already know that. But I'm going to mention it again. I feel like the stuff that I talk about, well, it's really redundant. <laughs> I know that I'm a very entertaining person, and I have faith in that, and you know, it was actually this transgender person that I ended up training at this uh, little Asian diner that I worked at, this like crap Americanized Asian diner that I don't think exists anymore, but it was like a, it was like a, um, a smaller version of P.F. Chang, it was called Pei Wei, and all the people that worked there called it Pee Wee, but um, yeah, I worked there for like six or seven months in between Steak and Shake. And, uh, I trained this transgender person. Um, and I, I just find that funny that, like, she, he, whatever. Hish, hish is, uh, <laughs> um, I call all trans people hish. Um, but, um, yeah, I find it interesting that, like, uh, she was a girl at the time. She, fully, totally, total actual girl. Um, she said that, uh, you know, you're really funny and, um, like, you could entertain people. Like, you could be, like, a comedian or something. You could be on stage and, and there were other people that paid attention, um, this roommate, this girl that I, uh, she used to live here, my dad had to kick her out because she was fucking crazy and she was an alcoholic, um, really bad. And she trashed my house even more than you've seen me capable of trashing my house. Um, but, uh, she basically treated this house like it was a frat house. And her boyfriend was also, like, drunk all the time, too, so it makes sense. Um, but, uh, yeah, she... She was instrumental in, like, sort of, uh, encouraging me to, you know, try stand-up comedy. Because she was paying attention to the way that I was training this girl. So, you know that you're, like, an interesting person if, like, people, like, hear you talking to somebody else and they're just like wow like I'm captivated by you and you're just you know telling this person how to drop stuff into a fryer and <laughs> how to prep vegetables and shit like that you know like it, like I'm able to make stuff like that entertaining so that's all I'm saying that that's what they were telling me, and I, I think I understand why, you know, especially watching this channel, like, I fucking love this whole thing, I'm just, I'm just so awesome, man. But, like, I definitely know that I'm annoying, though, so, Don't think that that is not well-established information in the world of Amy Gross, okay? Because... I have a lot going on, and I have a lot of me. So it's it's baggage, you know? And, like, I, I really wanted to do this on stage. I don't know if I'll ever actually do it, but this is an idea that I think is really funny. Um, like, if I actually had a real show, like, at a you know, a, a famous venue, a, a plaza, if I had a show at a plaza, um, like, the introduction, whenever I come up there, there would be, like, all these, like, you call them bellboys? You know, people that, they take your luggage? <laughs> it would be really funny if, like, I had, like, multiple bellboys, or whatever they're called. I think bellboys run elevators. But I guess, no, that's true. They, yeah. Yeah, it's probably part of what they do. Look it up. Just look it up. The internet is in the house. 
Yes, it is. But, um, yeah, I, so I, I would be up there on stage and I would just be waiting for, um, like, I would be like, oh, um, I, I, I have some stuff to get. I, I like, they're, they're helping me out. They're, they're, they're get, getting my stuff for me. And then, like, it's just all these, these people just keep, like, like, coming, like, one after the, the other with, like, all this luggage and briefcases and shit like that. I just think it would be funny because it would just be, you know, like a visual for, like, all the shit in my head, you know? Baggage. It's a lot of fucking baggage. Anyway. And I'm looking around with me everywhere I go.